I'm going to speak a little about a few projects that I'm involved with. They don't have all that much to do with semantic, uh, semantic web or, 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 or linking and stuff like that, but it's something that I'm hoping to do today. What I'm dealing with primarily is text mining. Okay, so I extract information from biomedical text and I extract information uh, and make it available to people. Um, as many of you know, already I'm sure, we have a lot of articles. Okay. These articles contain information um, and, and, and the numbers are really quite staggering. There are 21 million citations or so in PubMed. About 11 million of those have associated abstracts and currently that's increasing at a rate of about 2,000 per day. In uh, PubMed Central, which contains full text articles, we have over 2 million articles. Um, this res these resources and the knowledge that they represent are such a size that even for their limited subdomains, it becomes difficult for researchers to keep, keep up to date, to extract information. And of course, the, the, this problem is felt maybe uh, most acutely by database curators. We have somebody from Premier for example, here talking. Uh, who want me to troll through these articles and, and extract information and, and structure, create uh, structured data out of it all. This is where uh, text miners come in and, and uh, are trying to help by creating systems for extracting information and for linking this data to databases and, as I said, enabling bioinformatics in some analysis, and, and, uh, but also providing it directly to biologists or to curators. So, just very briefly about the projects that, that I've been doing. Uh, any of these, if, if you would like more information, just poke me later on. Uh, first one was really the NAES, which is a species entity named Entity Recognition System, that's what NER stands for. Uh, primarily geared towards uh, text miners to enable more complex analysis, but basically it finds in text where mentions of species occur. It's very simple for us to, to do when we see that a sentence, human p53, is expressed in ethereal cells. It's easy enough to figure, okay, well, human is human. Uh, but uh, for software to be able to do that, it's, it's uh, not completely trivial. Uh, and then linking that to, to a database. It's based on dictionaries and, and, and rules, combination of the two, uh, and uh, has good accuracy. It's available online. The, um, another entity recognizer as well that is available is called GNAT, which finds genes and proteins. This is much more challenging, as you can see also on the, on the accuracy numbers down there. It, it is more difficult. Um, in this case, it's about locating p53, recognizing okay, well, what kind of uh, which which protein or which gene are we talking about here, and linking it to, to the correct identifier. This uh, will depend on, mostly on, on the species. This turns out to be the critical thing to recognize. So, so it's also based on the NAS, and the NAS goes into this because once you recognize that it, this uh, particular sentence, in this case, is talking about human becomes a bit, a little easier to, to figure out which p it's, it's uh, dealing with. The uh, more complex system which, which now starts to move towards what I actually want to do, to actually extract information, knowledge, and, and, and provide it to people who want it. Uh, now armed with Linnaeus on with, with, with GNAT, we can extract more complex information. So this, uh, in this case, mentions of gene expression, and we can link those to mentions of anatomy. Um, so in the example sentence that we've had, we, we have P53 already, we have human. In this, with this system now also, we recognize anatomical Locations we have epithelial cells. This can be a, it's a cell type in this case, but it can be organs or cell lines or anything of the sort. 
And we recognize that the author is talking about the expression of them. So this is, this is um, of course, useful for people who want to know about the expression of genes. It's useful for people who want to know what's going on in anatomical locations. There are databases of this, of course, online um, from uh, uh, extracted through, through, through uh, biological experiments, through hybrid groups experiments. But for people who want specific links to literature that actually discuss this thing, uh, nothing like this really existed previously. So, if somebody wants to know not just the P53 is expressed, but actually get to an article that talks about the expression of P53 in epithelial cells, and they can use the system to get those kind of resources. Um, the precision and recall are precisions of cage recall, which, which kind of um, talks about how large portion of, of all lenses that are found is kind of low. But despite that, we still found more than 700,000 of these links that are extracted. They're available through a search interface online as well, together with the projects, with, with, with the uh, software and all the resources and stuff like that, all the source. Um, this is really, yeah. The uh, last slide really for me. Uh, is uh, what I'm working on currently, which is a project which is kind of the same style as Gem, which is uh, but larger and it covers a broader scope of, of, uh, of, uh, of uh, molecular processes. And it's which is producing also a larger sizes of, of, uh, of data and, and larger number. Of entry. So we're looking at about 40 million extracted entries so far with information about molecular processes linked to genes, proteins, atom coordinations, and linked to the anatomy, linked to the uh, literature so, so uh, researchers can learn and read about these things. We also have a very large amounts of intermediary data that can be useful for text mining. So parse trees and stuff, but that's not really interesting to this audience, I think. Uh, this should be probably in the next few weeks, I haven't tell you where I'll yet, but, but probably if you're really interested. That's really it for me, so thank you all. Uh, do ask me if you're interested in anything of this, um, or if you're interested in how we can link this kind of data to other resources, which is, which is really what I'm here for. Thank you.